What's going on guys, it's Real Speed Fishing here. Today we're out at the beautiful Loch Lomond. I'm here with Clay Brown. We're gonna do some filming, hopefully try to get some bass. We both got on jigs, he's got a drop shot tied on, I got a Senko on, and then we're gonna maybe do a little uh, fly fishing, see if we can get some small bass or some bluegill. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I am going to start out with the PB and J jig. It's just a small jig. I'm gonna start out with it. See if I can get any. Just gonna try to get numbers. Yup. Yup. Hey man, I got it. So I'm good. Yeah. check. Just check the knot that you have on it. Why did I cast over out there? I really need to change my line on this thing. Look, this is like the color of the curls that are here right now. Yeah. They're looking like that, yeah. At least the last one I saw here, look just like that. I moved over just a little bit. I'm gonna try, so I'll throw in the jig though, but I'm just gonna, oh, that's something, especially that's terrifying. I'm just gonna try to flip in here against this log. See if I can't pull something out. Totally not just casting that tree. That was something. What the heck? Back in there. Oh, that sounds actually good. Yo, no, dog. That one's actually good for this time right now. Yeah. I mean, it's not even pounding on anything. I mean, it looked like it fought pretty well. Yeah, I don't think I really like that one. Oh. Holy smokes. Look at its stomach. It's like a three incher. Where'd you get it? Right on there. Yeah. I thought he was going to get on the Hold up. Show the camera if you got one. Mm -hmm. Look what clear that. Drop shot. And you gone. Yeah, that one didn't even look that bad. Push more. Yeah, man. Hi, babe. Did he hit it, like, right away? No. Did he crush it? He did crush it. He did? Yeah. He was fat. Yeah. Looked like he was yeah. eating. On that cast. Right there you go. That one's a good one. You guys, I just got one right as I said I did not want to get one. Bad. Oh, God. Solid. This is a heavy rod, too. This is actually a couple pounder, I bet. Or at least a pound. Pound. I can't see it's fine really well though. You guys, literally, I turned the GoPro off just then so I can so it'd be you, easier. Clay's got. Were you recording that entire time? Yeah. Okay, so I'll I'll show you like what happened. 
Oh, oh yeah, this one's fat too. What the heck? Oh yeah, it's a good fish too. I tapped it. Yeah. Yep. So it's like not that big, but how fat? Look at that. It's not that big, but they're fun on these light rods. That's actually not that light of a rod, too, to be honest. Oh, yeah, look at That one even looks kind of big in the water. There he goes. All right, first fish. Let's get it. <laughs> Literally first cast at him. I, it's, it's, oh, well, it's off. Quick release. I don't know. They just casted right out there. I was just setting my stuff down and it hit it really hard and didn't even get a hook set. Well, that's what Barbless does for you folks. <laughs> uh, I don't have any other hooks. Ready? Oh my god. Dude, this bass is so dumb. He's hitting top water on my line. Am I getting a motorcycle? I'm getting one of those like 12 hour battery packs tonight. Oh man, it's gonna go for So that way I can always be recording. And when I crash, I'm not able to get why? Yeah, how come bikers always carry it? Care what? Like GoPros on their helmets. Because, um... Cool rides, or... People hit them. That's why? Yeah, people hit them. You get insurance money. A lot of it, because you're likely to get injured when you hit. If you want that insurance money. That's the main reason that something happens to them. Someone do something called motor vlogging now. Hmm? Someone do something called motor vlogging now. Which will see just right on the bike talk, or that your bike talking about shit to shit. I feel like it's really boring to watch. Uh, they do shit like wheelies and then some cops. In front of cops? Yeah, dude, they'll be like cruising at 100 miles an hour talking about whatever the fuck they're talking about. All of a sudden they get, they get lit up and they just haul ass out down the road away from the cops. It's kind of entertaining to watch. I feel like if you ever were to get caught, you'd totally do that. I might. Because you're just going to be like, I don't want to take it. What they do, sometimes they just get the license plate and then back off. Okay, you can get uh, those colored license plates that are black, and they just like are like indented. What I might do is I might make, might make a contraption. Where, um, press something. If I'm speeding or something, I'll press something. And there's no license plate. So highly if, illegal. I, I, get, I know highly, highly illegal. But if I get lit off, lit off, I can just take off. Um, but then just while I'm riding around town, not speeding, I'll have a license plate. Some people just ride around with no license plate because they can get away every time. Yeah, but don't you think that cops saw you again and recognize the bike? Of course they recognize that. But they also, there's so many bikes that have no license plate. There's so many. Look, like half the people that own sport bikes don't run them with a license plate. Because it's so easy for them to just dish it off so fast. Because one, the bikes can go about 30 miles an hour faster than the cop cars can. And they can get to that speed way, way faster. And they can turn way faster. They go to places the cop cars can't. You're only fucked if you're on the freeway and it's traffic. No, you're not. Yeah, you kind of are. The cops are more fucked. I know they're fucked, but like... You just split lanes, Bob. I know. Splitting lanes is, is legal in California. You're allowed to do it. I think it's kind of dumb. I think it's not dumb. Because you like bikes. No, because it's safer, actually, if you're able to split lanes. 
you're only allowed to split mate runs five miles an hour over what the cars do. If if you're if you're going like 20 miles an hour faster than the cars in splitting lanes, that's retarded. But if you're doing what you're supposed to do, it's going like, like what mainly people do. Like what fucking people are gonna die do, and what I'm probably gonna do. Um, but if <laughs> for the sake of the argument, if you're going only five miles an hour faster than what the cars are and you're splitting lanes, that's safer. It is. Yeah. Cars won't hate you. You've got you have faster reaction time than stuff on the bike. Maybe. Cause like for the bike, you have to leave. No, where are you going? All right, guys, I believe that we are about to head out of here right now. Um, it's been a pretty fun day. I've been out here with Clay. We got a total of two-ish, but, I mean, I had that one. I was just working it, as you saw. We definitely got a couple bites that we didn't land, but we have, I don't know, maybe five more minutes. I'm going to try to throw the GoPro on and get a couple more, but um, I don't think that we'll get any in five minutes. But otherwise... It's been pretty fun. None of them were really big. All were one pounders. I got like a pretty fat one. Our first two were pretty fat and we like went back to whack, but it's been fun. And uh just wanna say thanks to Clay for coming with me. Yeah. Um definitely go check his channel out. It will be in the description of the video. So definitely go check it out. He's just about to get into video in or filming again. Um he has uh, a really nice camera, so he's going to have very high quality videos for you guys. So make sure to go check that out, and it's been the Rose Food Fishing. <laughs>